The next shop was a pottery. The owner, Charles, was generous to indulge my passion for clay and invited me to sit at the wheel for a time. I enjoyed it so much, and I talked with him about the similarities between potting and fishing. I pointed out as I started to work the clay up and down on the wheel that as I started to pull the clay into a vessel shape, that the termite mound were also a type of vessel and that the termites were connected to fishing because the fish eat them. The South African people have a wonderful history of pot making and I felt so inspired to throw a pot in an authentic South African studio. You'd think that I was the journalist. You you would think that I was a potter, right? Because I'm sitting here making a pot. Oh, when you go to it. But I'm actually a fish, a fisherman, a fly fisherman. Charles was curious about this fishing thing. I told Charles that fishing makes you feel centered and in touch with nature as well. Even the birds get in on the act and they build their bowl-shaped nests out of cloisonnette pieces of mud. The fly rod is an extension of your hand that brings a rise from the fish. A fish is a living thing that you have made contact with by holding it in your hands and talking to it and then letting it go. Clay is similar because the hand also breathes life into the clay as the clay rises. The vessel is connected to food, but it doesn't have to be used for food. It can be simply admired as well. A fish is food, but can be simply admired. True, he said. I understand. I made a few pots that brightened my day, and the weather, by this time, had also brightened. So we hopped in the car to go fishing.